I wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to assign multimedia function keys to something like the insert and page down cluster over here um, on a ducky keyboard. This is the ducky one, the 1687S uh, US model, US variant. And it doesn't come with any specific multimedia keys, but you can very easily assign them. And I say very easily because the Ducky Macro version 2.0 hotkeys function is actually pretty easy to understand once you know what's going on. But I think because this is a Taiwanese company, uh, their instructions are a little bit difficult to understand and follow. And a lot of other instructions that you find on the internet are also kind of tough to follow. So uh, without further ado, we can get right into it. <clears throat> so first things first, um, the FN key here, which is actually menu, but you can ignore what that says. This is FN. Now, you use this key, you can hit FN, and you could choose numbers two through six over here. Uh, and what that does is that assigns specific profiles. Number one can't be used to assign custom macros or hotkeys, uh, just because that's the way that they've designed this, but you can choose two through six. Uh, for tutorial purposes, we'll just choose number five. Now you can see that the caps lock key lights up and the number five lights up. We'll hit the six just so you can see. Great. So we'll go back to five. Five lights up in the caps lock indicating that we're on five. So there's nothing going on right now. The keyboard's backlights, every key has a blue LED behind it, but it's all turned off just because this is going to make it easier to see stuff. So to enter the macro assignment mode, what we'll do is we'll hold the FN key and control key for three seconds. So we'll go one, two, three. Now this over here will blink. Now it's a slow blink and that indicates that it's ready to see that you want to assign a specific key. So we're going to assign the mute to this orange nuke key here. So to do that, we're going to choose, I want to, I, I like to use FN plus that key to mute stuff. You could just assign straight up that key but I use that for other things. So I wanna be able to do FN plus that key, kind of like a control delete type of thing. So we'll go ahead, you can see this is still blinking slowly. We'll go ahead and do FN plus that. Now that lights up and that's blinking faster, more rapidly. Now uh, there's a little handy sheet in the actual user manual from Ducky <clears throat> that shows what the uh, multimedia keys assignments are, their internal assignments, I guess, that are kind of relevant to this board. So long story short, you can hit FN, Windows key, and A, and that will get you Ducky's mute, right? So we'll go ahead and do that. FN, Windows key, A, and you don't have to do anything else. You can literally just hit FN and control if you want to find out if it works. Now we'll be able to see if it works. I'm just going to play some music. And it seems like it works. Different people have different uses for this, which is why I figured I would make this tutorial because I just wanted to get this cluster working as straight up multimedia keys. Other people want to do things like use their keyboard as a mouse. So they want to have certain drag and drop timings and functionality built into it. And I just don't see the use for that, like I said, because I like to as fast as I want, right? Same thing goes from uh, volume. So we'll go ahead and we'll assign volume really quickly. <clears throat> so to do that, we'll hold FN and control for three seconds. One, two, three. And this is blinking slowly. You saw this key lit up because it was just saying, hey, you've got a binding on this key, which is great. Now we're going to do volume down to the yellow nuke key. So we're going to do FN plus that yellow nuke key because that's the way I like to do it. Or the assignment I like rather. So go ahead and do that. Now you can see this is blinking pretty rapidly and this key's lit up. It's indicating that it's ready to accept the internal uh, binding from Ducky. So <clears throat> I'll go ahead and do, I believe it's FN Windows key plus C. Okay, so it's blinking slowly again, and that's bound. So we'll go ahead and undo that, and looks good. And it works as fast as you want. 
And there's some advanced functionality that goes on with that where um, if you wanted to, let's go ahead and hold that in, get that back to the macro mode. Uh, and you wanted to go ahead and let's do volume up to this key. So you can see that's ready, that's br blinking rapidly, that's ready to accept a key. Now we would normally do FN Windows key uh, plus B to do volume up. And we're gonna do that, but after we do that, within about a second's time, we'll go ahead and we'll, um, let me just pause this music, sorry. After about a minute's time, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and we'll hit any key that won't interfere with this. And what that does, so far as I can tell, is it puts kind of a cooldown onto the key input. Uh, so I'll show you what it means. So we'll go ahead and we'll do Windows key, or FN Windows key plus B, right? And then we'll press another key that has nothing to do with it. And then we'll go ahead and we'll hit FN plus Q. Now you can see that's not blinking rapidly anymore. We'll leave that mode. And you won't be able to see on your side, but I can type, I can press this as fast as I want and it goes at an incremental rate upwards on Windows versus the way I did it before, which just lets you uh, increase or decrease the volume or input something literally as fast as you can hit the key. So. I don't do that, so I'll show you what, why I, or what I normally do, which is the other process, the normal process, so three seconds there, that's going to blink, slowly, all those things are bound over there, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go pick that key, that's blinking slowly again so that we can just rebind it, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and do uh, Windows key, FN, FN, Windows key, B, right? Now it's blinking rapidly. I didn't press any other key on the keyboard after that, and so I can just leave the zone after that, because I don't... because personally I want the key to move as fast as I can input, right? Like I want to be able to click the volume up really fast, um, and you just can't do that, so uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go ahead and demo that process so that people know you can go ahead and do that with volume, mute, play, pause, stop, playlist, next, previous, uh, mouse clicks, middle mouse clicks, cursor up, down, scroll up, down, search, previous, next, all sorts of crazy stuff. Open up your browser, my computer, everything. So, um, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to make this video. Uh, I said that it would be short. It's not very short. Hopefully uh, this is useful.